What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. Now I had to bring this very special video because whilst my C63 is over there at Motec, I'm at the performance company because they have got a Liberty Walk Aventador sat outside in the gleaming sun. Indy, what's hey. up? How are you, you doing? doing? You alright? Yeah, good, how are you? Not bad. So, I mean, whilst I'm over there staring at my C63, I'm in love with that car. Yeah. But you've parked this car outside and I'm, 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 well, I'm just going to spend all day looking at it because <laughs> this is the second Liberty Walk Aventador in the UK, yep, is that right? That's right, built and made here, yeah. So <laughs> this is ridiculous. The first <laughs> car I actually watched get built okay. because it was built at SB Race Engineering. This yeah. has been built here. Everything about this car just takes the original car to the next level because that was wrapped. It wasn't yeah. that nicely specced. Like whilst it was an incredibly cool car, had an Armatrix exhaust, this has got frequency intelligence, but there is so many secrets to this car that I feel like it is worth a video because I want you to talk to me about just how much attention to detail has gone into this because, well, go on. <laughs> start things off <laughs> let's talk about the finish of the car because yeah. most people would think that's a wrap right well the car actually was Verde Ithaca from, from factory okay which is quite a rare color anyway yeah. um, bought from Lamborghini Edinburgh sent it down he knew what color he wanted it when we first got the car so it's a AMG GTR Green Hell Magno yeah uh, paint in and out fully finished so it's painted painted no wrap painted <laughs> uh, and everything that you see on the outside is all airbrushed and then re it in so you can't feel anything Right. And it's safe to, to wash So in. all of the stickers aren't stickers. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Am I okay to tell the story about how this car came yeah, about? Yeah, definitely. Of course you can. <laughs> okay. So the owner of this car walked in on his son playing Need, Need for Speed. Speed. Yeah. And his son was driving a Liberty Walk Aventador. And the owner of the car didn't know if it was a real thing, whether it was just something that's CGI or in the game. Yeah. but. When he realised that it, it was, was a real, it was real, it was a thing, yeah. He did it in real life. Yeah. That is the coolest story I think I've ever heard to do with a car. And the fact that it's got an MOT, it's tacked, it's road legal, the number plate on the back is genuine. Yep. This car actually gets driven around, right? That's right. <laughs> I think. Let's hear it because this is decadded frequency intelligence. That's right, yeah. Decats. I want to hear this thing. I want to film it. And then you've got some more special toys in there. Which we'll bring out in a bit. Which we'll bring out yeah, in a bit. Definitely. Right. I'm going to get ready. I don't, I don't want earplugs, but I'm going to get myself ready to hear this thing. Oh, man. Right, we are completely ruining everyone's day in the industrial estate, but now I'm going to stand over here so you get to hear how loud this thing is. It's nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. Good description there. That is nuts. Even from back here, yeah. the echoes of the buildings. You can that's, feel it. Yeah, that's why I wanted to stand back there because you will really get an idea of just how much that thing echoes. And I mean, yeah. That fight for the win. Yep. Yeah, yeah, frequency intelligence win. There's a guy over there in his office has come out to see what's going on. There's a lot of people back there. <laughs> we have now got a Liberty Walk Ferrari 488. The only other 488 Liberty Walk that I've seen was at the Geneva Motor Show when they launched it. So to see one in the UK on UK number plates is mind blowing. And we have got it next to that insane Liberty Walk Aventador. Having them both parked up next to each other and having heard them, I massively prefer the Lamborghini, as I was always going to do. To me, the Ferrari 488 has got an incredibly uninspiring exhaust note. And you know how important it is for me to have a nice sounding car. Whilst it doesn't sound too bad, <laughs> I can literally get as close as I want to the exhaust and not have to raise my voice to you. 
it's not loud enough and that's definitely to do with the fact that it doesn't have decats but also because it is a turbocharged car when the ferrari 488 came out i genuinely just saw it as a 458 facelift a little slight improvement and whilst the performance is massively massively superior to the 458 i would much rather have it because it sounds incredible and once you put if you put frequency intelligence on a 458 it would sound like a formula one car that just sounds like a better mclaren we are now going to jump in the car and head two miles that way because there is a Liberty Walk McLaren 650S Spider being built. So let's go and check that out and leave these cars behind. Things have slightly changed. We're not going to have a look at the 650S yet because I'm walking to the passenger seat of the Ferrari. Here we go. Oh my God, this is literally like sitting on the floor. Ugh. Oh, look at that rear, look at that view in the wing mirror. Did you overhear me sort of saying that I prefer the Lamborghini? Is that why you said, no, no, come I out of the Ferrari? <laughs> no. I think this car just drives lovely with suspension. Yeah. It's just, so it's got air suspension, right? Air X air suspension. Yeah. I don't think you'd normally generally realise it's on the suspension when you're driving it. Yeah. It feels like a, a stop car. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. It definitely sings more. softer yeah but you get to adjust the damping and everything on the suspension so generally you have great sort of feel of what you want to do with it yeah I'm gonna put my window up a little bit well this is the beauty of air suspension is you can raise it to go over the speed glass exactly. you can lower it for your shows when you want to park it up and then you can have that middle ground which just like this driving around yeah and we're going over like some fairly uneven roads I'm impressed. This is really cool. Should I get air suspension in one of my cars? Thank you for that brief, no, but... No problem. I mean, I've just been in a Liberty Wall 488. I didn't think I was going to do that today. <laughs> That's crazy. It does sound good. It sounds awesome. I, I love the downshift. And yeah. It sounds amazing. I still prefer the Aventador, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not going to expect anything less, really. I'm a Lambo man through and through. But Tony, if you're watching this, I think you should liberty walk your 488. Why don't you all go in it? Okay, there you go. <laughs> I'll force the camera on you whilst you're discussing. Who's going to talk to me about the 650? Well, you, know, you know more about it than I do. What do you want to know? <laughs> Everything. There you go. <laughs> Let's go. 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 Well, uh, arches, spoiler, rear diffuser, front rear bumper, side skirts, bonnet. So basically it's all been removed to some of the standard wings, standard quarters, doors, but obviously the extensions all round. Exhaust, FI exhaust. Yeah, so it's um, going to sound good. Which has got a switchable valve, yeah, so it's either awesome. one or the other. This one isn't that loud, obviously, because it's still running the cap. So yeah, it's still running the cap. And so it's turbocharged. Yeah, but it still makes uh, a good noise, obviously. Yeah. That's absolutely stunning, and to see it not complete, I think shows the level of detail that goes into something like this, because this is a big project. They are quite intense, yeah. Um, some of them more than others. Um, I mean, this one, the back, is probably the most intense part of okay. the build with the exhaust, obviously, because the bumper's changed. Uh, got a lower diffuser. Um, you have to 
split the rear section into three with a light star, so it's quite an intricate cut. But, wow. but this is the first one in Europe. I believe so. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it's a spider. Yes. Yeah. They were all. I bet you're excited now to have all four wheels and put it down on the ground. Later today, yes, it'll all be done. Um, just waiting now for the rear bumper. Uh, just doing the black insert. Okay. Then we'll get that fitted. Nice. Um, and it'll be great. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I'm loving the. I'm loving the bonnet. Yeah, it's nice. You know, it's not right. Yeah, it just gives a good shape to the front, doesn't it? It is the end of a very long but enjoyable day with Motec Performance and Liberty Walk Europe, which was a nice surprise. They're based literally a stone's throw away from Motec Performance. It was so cool to see those cars and then obviously see that McLaren 650S mid build. So the guys up there are doing some awesome work. I'm definitely going to be spending a lot more time up there. I know this area really well because one of my best friends lives up here. So it's just easy to jump on the M1 and head up. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and a quick look around at some of the Liberty War cars that are going to be in the UK and driving around. And a quick heads up, the guys at Liberty Walk Europe told me that in a couple of weekends time, they are bringing all of the Liberty Walk cars to London. So if you're interested, head down to London because that is gonna be a sight to behold. Absolutely incredible. I do feel like my ears are ringing a little bit still from that V12. It just makes me want a V12 even more. And now I'm headed home because tomorrow I have got a day in London in this car, putting the suspension to a proper test trying to navigate this roundabout now whilst filming but uh yeah ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching the sun is setting it's been a beautiful day thank you so much for tuning in and thank you to Motec Performance again for making this car sit how it's supposed to sit on the road so I'll see you guys very soon take care goodbye